Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to Everdell, that brand new game from Supercell where you work with other players within the valley to run your towns and to build up beautiful farms. Right, now, in this case I'm going to be looking today at my actual townies and what they do within the game. Now, at the moment, I've got a red house, blue, orange, and a purple one. And each of the houses relates to one character. Now, I tend to choose the roof color and the costume to make it easy for me, so I know where they live. But you can pick and choose and change if you wanted to. If you actually tap on the actual people themselves, what you can do is to do many, many things. So I've tapped on Oliver as an example. If I click on the information, it tells you that she has no skills at the moment. It allows me to change her clothing and then I can actually try different clothing costumes down there, which is pretty cool. Or what I can do is go to the clothing shop. Now the clothing shop has a lot of wonderful items down there, but it's only there for a specific amount of time and then it disappears and then a new one comes. So there's like a party costume which looks very nice indeed and I like the look of that, both male and female. Um, if I click down there, there's the costume, the camper costume, which looks really, really cool, and I like that. There's also the Quarry Master one. Now, if I've got people working down the mine, I think I'd like to have them dressed like this, so I could change my clothing for my characters based on their task, which would be very nice indeed. But I'm going to need more gems for that one, and at the moment, I don't have that. So clothing is one option. The last one you've got down there relates to the actual like potions. Now at the moment she's not got any active potions. But there is a potion down there that allows her to work uh, without eating for a specific amount of time. So instead of actually taking the resources from the community eating pot, I can give her this kind of like magic potion and then she doesn't have to eat. So what a great way to actually stay slim and healthy, yeah, but still feel full up. So that one's got a knife and fork on the actual container. Now within the game, you'll be able to get more potions. Yeah, but at this moment in time, I've only got the worm. So I can't wait to see as I progress through the game and get more potions indeed. Right, so that's basically my character. Now if I tap on her name down here, uh, you'll see it brings up the same information. And if I wanted to, what I could do is to rechange her name and then rename her to something else. Instead of calling her Olivia as an example, uh, yeah. go do that one again. Yeah, remove all the letters. Let's see where I am. Uh, one more. I could call her uh, Jane. And then once I've accepted Jane down there, I can say OK. And then she has her own beautiful name. So you've got the option to rename your visitors, or sorry, your townies as well, which is kind of cool. Right, now, when it comes down to the townies, you start off with a certain amount of townies. And as you level up within the game and you start to develop, you get the ability to add more and more people. So as you work your way through the study levels, you can see there's like a, a greenhouse down here, which allows me to have more homes and more people. As again, I progress down here. There's another one over there as well. So I've got the ability to add in uh, new characters within my actual town, which is kind of cool. And I like that as well. And then you can rechange the buildings, change the information, change what they look like, uh, different color roofs as well. So like a change blue, keep going through the spectrum of colors until you like the one that you like. Uh, very nice indeed. So let's just cancel that one off. Right now, down here at the bottom, you've got your, your actual townies bar. And this tells you what they're doing. So you'll see I've got one who's out at work within the actual valley itself for 5 hours and 49 minutes. That's Carolina. She's working. Um, I've got Pierre, he's producing wool for me at the moment, so I'll be back in an hour and 11 minutes. So kind of like doing temporary jobs elsewhere to collect resources that I need. Hence, there is a door that is closed. Now, the ones that are available are Dagmar and Jane down here. So these are the ones that are ready to work. Now, I want to allocate them to a task. I've got different ways of doing this. 
Now what I can do is click on the item that I want. So in this case, it's raspberries. I click on the little person, up pops the menu, and then I can allocate him or her to do that task. Now, what I can do if I wanted to is to click on, let's just say, another task, which is this one over here. Click on the little building icon. You can see that Dagmar's doing berries. Now, she's green and Jane is in blue. So what I want to do is to actually have Dagmar doing the clay pit and Jane doing the berries. So I click on Dagmar. Dagmar has now changed and she stopped collecting the berries. If I go back to the berries, click on the person, I can click on Jane. She's now doing it. So you can switch the characters around on their tasks very easily this way, which is kind of cool. Now, there is a little timer that tells you how long it takes. Now, in the relation to the clay, because this is an unlimited location, uh, it tells you that uh, she's doing enough work for about uh, one hour. And you'll see that there's a little soup icon out there. Uh, and if I tap on the soup icon, you can see the progress of the soup based on the people that are eating. So I'm expected to run out of the soup at about 8 11 p.m which is pretty cool actually to, to know this information so i can kind of plan my actions on what i want to do based around that so she needs food to actually keep doing her task i've also got the option as well if i wanted to to set a reminder to know that she's going to run out of soup within a specific time and that will tell me as well now down here for the raspberry, I can set the reminder on the raspberries as well to say that that will be ready. So I like this option to set reminders. If I wanted to, I can hide the times and get rid of them by clicking on the little button over here, click it again. The times are now resumed. I can turn off the reminder if necessary to say I don't need it. But I like that one. I really, really do. It's a nice feature indeed. In relation to the visitors, there's also another option down there. I keep calling them visitors. I've got to get used to new language now. So in relation to the townies, there's also another option to hire a worker. So we've got within the shop the ability to hire another individual. Now, he's got all skills at 50%, okay, and he can do literally any task but it will cost you 200 diamonds very similar to kind of like what we had in heyday where you could hire certain staff members to do certain activities and if i click on the actual icon i can have him for two days he's a temporary super worker a seasoned expert he deals exclusively in village tasks so he will only do village activities um, but he will only stay there for a certain time so I can't wait to use him in the future. What will he do? I wonder how effective he will be. I will have to wait and see. Now, in relation to the characters, you can see their progress down there. So if you look at the actual icons above them, a completed task is literally the whole circle done down there. Now, you can see that Dagmar's working and the actual soup counter is going down there. If you look at the soup icon, you'll see that it's now gone down to 19 to 20. So I've got to maintain enough food to keep her going. At the moment, okay, she's doing a wonderful job, uh, as is Jane on harvesting the actual berries. There we go. She's now done on the berries and she's now free to do something else, which is great so what i can have her doing if i wanted to is to switch the task over so we're coming over to the food i need to produce food to keep dagmar satisfied so i'm going to click on jane on this one who will produce the food for me on that one or what i can do is go and give let's just say jane another task now if i click on the icon over here i can't have two people doing the same thing it won't let me but let's just say i need lots of clay now you've got these options within the game where there are certain key areas that you can open up so you've got like a st stone mine dam there's the unlimited evergrove there's another unlimited evergrove there as well but that one's dormant because i've not opened it that one's open as well you've got the actual clay play one there you've also got the rocks down there so i've got these locations within my actual village itself 
that would allow uh, me to multitask by doing the same thing. It's the same with the food. As you level up, you get more than one of the options for feeding. So you can have two people working on the food as well. So it really does help. Now, if I want to get more clay, I'm going to send my visitor over to do the clay. And there we go. Lovely. Now I'm at the clay one here and if I click on her, you can see that there's a remove option. So if I want her to stop doing this, I can click on the remove and she's now left. Now, if I want to add her back, I can do the same thing again and put her back. And then she just continues from where she was. So even if you have to remove someone from a task, you don't lose what you've done. It kind of goes into like a memory storage. So it goes back and continues from that point, uh, which is very, very nice indeed. So you can move your actual townies around, do multiple tasks, uh, leave that one, come back to it later. And this is the same when it comes to building or anything else. Even if you don't have all the resources, you can do some now, come back to it later, do some now, come back to it later. The only trouble is because I've now got workers doing heavy work, you'll see that the actual soup itself which is the icon up here, is much lower. And you can see down there that I'm actually going to run out of food much earlier uh, based on the consumption that I've now got uh, with my two characters working. Uh, so you have to be very, very aware of this. Now I'm going to build up till about 30. My food is going to go down, not a problem. Then I'll just switch the two characters over to actually producing food. Okay, right. Hopefully that's uh, a useful video for you in relation to uh, what you need to know for uh, the townies and how to use them. If you've got any questions, make sure you ask me below in the comments. And as I start playing this game more, I will give you more details on what each feature does, uh, how to use it, and how to expand more with those characters. Maybe we can discuss some tips and suggestions as well as we start progressing the game. But either way, see you next time. Bye now.